Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2012 Jeep Liberty in gray. Now, this is a pretty nice vehicle. It's a Latitude. Has leather seats and shiny wheels and all that cool stuff. Tires look decent. Not 100%, but they still got significant tread and they're worn evenly. And here's the key. You can get into the back or you can lock and unlock the doors. You can open up the glass with the key like that. And go ahead and unlock it. Alright. Your tools, your changing your tire tools are there. You've got like a little pocket there. This lifts up and you've got some kind of hidden storage space. That right there is where you release your spare tire, which is underneath the vehicle. You've got a shade here. Those tire uh those um seats do fold down in case you need some extra cargo space back here fuel cap is on the driver's side nice and convenient has a little hanger there I like that. Let's check out the back back seat here. Here's the inside of the back door. There's a big speaker, handle, window control, open up the door. There's a little door lock, but other than that, it's pretty pretty basic. No pockets other than maybe this handle here. Here's your seats. It's proofreaded leather. And pull, this, pull that pulls it down locks it in place you gotta pull that again to release it cup holders are there you can lower one one side or both sides of the back seat here depending on how much passenger slash cargo space you need it does have the latch system for the child safety seats does have heated side mirrors here's the inside of the front door You've got a nice pocket there at the bottom there's your speaker handle door lock controls window controls and your side mirror adjustments do have a power seat here in the front and driver's side it's got Jeep written in there here's your presets on your your power seat pocket there I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now this is a 2012 pre-owned and look at the mileage just just a little over 10,000 miles pretty good it's got a tilt steering wheel no telescoping though so I guess we'll start with the steering wheel here it's a leather wrapped nice and comfortable good thickness it does have your cruise control settings on this side on the back of the steering wheel you have a volume control and adjust the volume like that I can change the stations and turn the volume back up a little bit stations on the back of the steering wheel here turn the volume back down now on this side we have a uh, voice recognition button here and your Bluetooth cell phone once your cell phone's paired with the system
push that button to answer or send calls. These buttons down here correspond with this menu system right here. You see it says northeast. That's the, the direction the vehicle is facing. 69 degrees outside. So I'm going to push the step button here and kind of step through. Nope, that doesn't change. Some of them, some of the newer models, you can step through that menu. This one, all it does is step through the um, trips and then you can reset the trips. That's it. So my mistake on that. Your headlight controls are on that side. Windshield wiper controls are on this side. You have a nice pocket up here. Pretty decent size. There's your window. I mean, radio, sorry. It does have satellite radio. And um, your Bluetooth controls are right here. It does have a CD player, which you can play MP3s as well. Other than that, it's a pretty basic radio. No touchscreen navigation and all that cool stuff. But it does have an auxiliary input to where you can play music off of just about any device that has an output. Like, say, an, a, a, a phone or a iPod or MP3 type player. Laptop, anything like that. Here's your... Um, climate controls pretty much simple you've got your fan speed your temperature and where you want the air to blow on that side you do have heated seats here in the front and there's one of the controls there and there's the one for the passenger power supplies right there that's a traction control button there you can turn that off the vehicle always has a traction control on until you turn it off center button is your four-way hazards there's your shifter, automatic transmission. You do have a tow and haul button right there on the top. In case you're pulling a heavy trailer or something, which this vehicle does not have a trailer hitch, but you can add one. Pocket there, there, there. There's your cup holders, emergency brake. Now you have a center console armrest that lifts up. And you have this, this pocket right here tray more like that comes out and then you've got a nice big storage bin underneath glove compartment there's your nice handle right there it does have auto dim rear view mirror tap lights are up here here's like a little thing I guess to put a piece of paper or something garage door controls are there you do have a mirror with a light. Same thing on that side. Alright, let's take a look underneath the hood. Oh, here it is. This has a 3.7 liter V6 and it's pollen season right now so there's pollen all underneath the hood but um, seems to be a good smooth running engine. Hood's kind of heavy lifting it up with one hand. Alrighty, if you have any questions, my phone number or email address is in the description. And you can also leave comments. See you next time.